what is up people how's it going this is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video so this is going to be an interesting one because you're going to look into playing around with the kiwi application and also using a kiwi garden file called as joystick and you're going to be mixing both of that and creating a very very simple sprite motion in our kiwi application that's what we're going to be doing let's get this video started this video is sponsored by an academy when it comes to interviews for software development and top product companies, do you know what are the topics that are crucial to be prepared for? Number one is DSA because they want problem solvers, followed by that system design and backend development because they want design oriented thinkers. An Academy is conducting a free event called as Programmers Carnival this weekend, which is relevant for everyone who wants to prepare for product company interviews. On Saturday, the focus will be on DSA and there will be sessions on sorting and searching for interview preparation, intro to basic DSA, game theory and greedy algorithms. Sunday, the focus will be on de backend development and there will be sessions on introductions to system design, microservice architecture, REST API and intro to backend. As usual, these classes are taken up by the best of the educators that the country has to offer. Can't think of a better way to add value to your interview preparation. So make this weekend a super productive one and register for the events by clicking the link in the description. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Time to get back to our video. All right, so this is the blank file that I have right now. I have, I'm using PyCharm and I would highly recommend you guys to use that as well. If you're coming here for the first time, I would highly recommend you guys to check out the playlist coming down below where you can watch out all for all the basics of Kiwi. We're going to be looking into uh, using something called as a Kiwi garden uh, where you need to install it. So if you are freshly installing Kiwi, on top of that, make sure to install this as well. All right, the first thing you're going to do install is to install pip install kiwi-garden right and i actually have already installed it so it will say that its requirements are already satisfying followed by that we're going to be installing garden install something called as joystick and this is a very simple package i'll drop the link for that in the description below as well you can check that out and what we're going to do now is to import joystick and start working on our demo application all right as always we have the kiwi from kiwi kiwi md dot app will import the md app followed by that we're going to be also let me make sure that this is bigger enough for you guys all right so this is big enough from kiwi md dot import app we're going to be having the class uh, demo app and make sure to uh, generate from it have the build method do not forget that also have yeah that's pretty much enough uh, we can just pass it for now and do not forget the main as well demo app of dot run all right, so we have the uh, base layer created and from here we're going to be doing is importing from kiwi dot garden dot joystick we're going to be importing the joystick method all right great all right inside our build method we're going to be uh, basically creating a very simple float layout i'll call it as the root is equal to the float layout all right float layout make sure to have the uh, import as well kiwi automatically will do like pycharm will automatically do it for you next thing you want to do is some create an object for joystick is equal to joystick of uh, we have three important parameters we can pass anything we want to the first thing parameter i'm going to be passing is the patch size so patch size is how big or small that you want it to be i'm going to be passing it as 0.1 there's going to be outer size which we can actually also control which is going to be 0.1 and the inner size also point one so this will create a small joystick for us the default one will create a super big which we will not be able to use next followed by that we're going to be actually adding this uh, to using add widget we're going to be adding the joystick to our float layout there's an important reason why i'm using float layout which you'll obviously understand in in a minute uh, that is followed by that we're going to be creating a very simple image and i'll just create an object of image i'll call it as image sprite and it's going to be uh, using the image from the kiwi base so if it says okay so i'm going to be importing it so make sure to import it as well from kiwi dot uix dot image import image all right done and uh, we will need some source image right so i'll just pass the source as uh, i actually have already downloaded an image and you'll be able to see it in some time character i actually have uh, downloaded a character from among us which is a famous game right and uh, this is pretty much it we have created an image sprite we have a joystick and everything we need to do is just control our joystick how exactly are we going to do that 
uh, the first thing we need to understand is that we'll be requiring a bind method so binding is basically like saying every time the joystick object is cl clicked or moved make sure to fire this method so we'll just say joystick do not forget to add this as well um, the to the root i'm creating everything inside the build itself so add widget we'll just pass the image sprite all right done joystick dot bind is going to be the important method we're going to say pad which is meaning that every time the padding is moved it's it's the uh, obviously given bind method just every time the pad is moved we need to like update the data say update uh, probably coordinate something like that we create a method now so go here quickly create a method update coordinates great we need to pass two variables to it one is the joystick itself and the padding or the pad that is being clicked so these are two parameters we're going to pass for this update quadrant method we will write few things here for now just say um, update fired awesome right all right this is done so we have done is we quickly added a joystick and we also added a image sprite in this example it's in a simple sprite image which is going to be a png image and we have actually done binding it as well next thing we want to do is obviously control our update coordinate and uh, there's a few important tricks that you need to know only if you use a float layout the sprite will be able to move inside it without having to have be in a fixed position there are a few other layouts as well like grid layout box layout which do not give you that uh, the ability to do that so first thing first we'll just make sure to put this uh, joystick in a fixed position so that this is not going to be in the center of the screen so how do you do that just control the pause hint which is going to be the uh, main method that we're going to control this entire thing by um, position hint i want to be the top as point five somewhere in the top portion and the right is also going to be okay it needs to be a float and the right should also be 0.5 we'll keep it at keep it at this for now we can control the location probably as we uh, test it out probably we can even put it at 0.8 and 0.8 so that it's not the bang in the center of the screen right 0.8 and 0.8 so like i said we can control the position of our image using the position hint or the pause hint and how do you do that just go back to your update coordinates method first thing you're going to do is to from the pad object that you just passed to our bind method we're going to be loading the x float the x float is nothing but the float of a pad of zero make sure to have it as a string i'll just quickly tell you what is really happening here and we're going to say five so we are actually taking the pad will be like a big data that's going to come in we need to now convert it into string and followed by that back to float so that we have a float value and similarly y is also going to be controlled in a similar way create a variable called as y float float of string of pad of one and control the uh, the 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 number of digits that you want it should be from one it should have five digits minimum or including the decimal points that's what i'm doing here x float and y float all right so we have updated the x float and the y float and now it's time to um, probably update our image sprite itself like i showed you we can do it with the position hint that we have by controlling the position hint, we are able to control the position of the image itself the main reason for using float layout is also for the same reason without float layout we will not be able to move the image easily there are a couple of other layouts like box and grid which we cannot control the position within that because the grid will be specific to that grid and box will be specific to the box only we cannot be able to do that so with respect to the float layout we can move our image with pretty much smoothly and what we're going to do now next is to have something called as a numeric property which i've already imported so the numeric pop property is nothing but a very simple way of uh, giving a data to a variable it's going to be user defined variable which is part of this application and just going to say i'm going to create a variable called as um, position hint top and i'm going to say numeric property of 0.5 which is going to be a float so i'm just going to position hint right i'm going to say numeric property of 0.5 all right two numeric properties created and we're going to quickly go down and start working on updating our sprite position we can directly first say self dot uh, label of position hint is equal to top value is going to be self dot position hint top right and the right is going to be self dot position hint right so this is going to be setting 
this is going to be move this will not have any movement right it should be image and we're going to control the image or oh, image sprite all right image sprite is there we are already going to be doing it step is to obviously now control the movement when you want to move the joystick we have the x load and y load now what we can do simply is to create a new variable let me call it as uh, um, probably new uh, position hint top and just going to say add it to the base which is going to be new uh, position hint right position in top sorry and it's just going to add it with the x float uh, no top is going to be y float because it's going to control the horizontal uh, vertical movement followed by that we have the new position hint right and we'll just say um, pause hint right awesome control it by adding the x float also now what we have to do now is to reload this to our uh, position hint right class variable if we do that it will be fine but what will happen is that when you are actually controlling the joystick it might go outside the boundaries of the image or the app itself which we don't want so we can just say within the boundaries i want to be able to move my sprite so i just say within the boundary of 0.6 to uh, probably if the new position in top is within 0.6 and 1.5 just set self dot uh, pause hint top is equal to the new pause hint top similarly we can just say 0.6 new pause hint right 1.5 we can now say pause hint right is equal to new pause hint right Awesome, right? So we've controlled, we just said within the boundaries of 0.6 and 1.5, I want to be able to see my sprite moving here and there. So this is basically the base structure that you need for any sprite movement and also the base, um, basically the simplest application that you can create with a Kiwi Garden uh, garden uh, library called as Joystick. It's going to be really smooth to look into as well. Just quickly run it. What does it say? It says that cannot import joystick from Kiwi Garden joystick. All right, this is the mistake. It should be joy. Yes, it's small case. We haven't actually. Yeah. All right. Quick mistake. Run it again. Awesome. Now the application is created. I'm just going to bring it here for you guys to see. Uh, this is going to be the application. The sprite is too big for me. Let me move it. And now if you see, I'm able to move it move the sprite within the screen i'm just able to do it it's actually pretty much sensitive right now but still with the joystick movement i'm able to move it here and there and once you load it to a box layout you will not be able to do that similarly we can actually play with the sprite reduce the size of the sprite and do anything you want to do this is going to be the base layer for creating any gaming up related applications and i'm going to be making few more videos on top of this as well so i just wanted to make sure to give you guys an intro into how you can understand and create simple kiwi related games that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section what more you guys would like to see in respect to Kiwi and also anything related to uh, UI related applications. I'll be very happy to mute you guys in the next video. A lot of things are lined up. I'll see you guys then. Until then, Bharat, peace out. Have a super awesome day.